Florida Governor Ron DeSantis denounced the upcoming World Economic Forum being held in Davos next week, taking the opportunity to note that Florida is not open to embracing any policy ideas that might come from the meeting. Let's watch. They do this thing in Davos. They're doing it next week. All these elites come in, um, you know, the World Economic Forum, and basically, um, you know, their vision is they run everything and everybody else is just like a surf, like a peasant. They say they're going after energy, ESG, all these other things. And you see the Biden administration wants to, to nix gas stoves. Are you kidding me? Like we need, I want gas stoves. I mean, imagine like you, how many people had the hurricane come through, didn't have power right away, but were able to turn on uh, some. So you, you cannot go down this road, but that's exactly uh, what they want to do. And it's really weakening uh, Western society, Western values. But underlying a lot of that is the CCP. He was referring to the Chinese Communist Party there. He also made it clear in the press conference that he will seek to curb China's influence in the Sunshine State. The 53rd annual meeting will take place in Davos, Switzerland, and is set to see record turnout, featuring 52 heads of state and about 600 CEOs. Climate envoy John Kerry will represent the United States. Look, I got to say, all those heads of states and hundreds of CEOs does not sound like a especially good time from my perspective. You know, I, I think that this is probably a, a wise political move. It's always healthy to make an attack against elites. And certainly this is the most elite of elite bunches gathering here at Davos. Of course, there is always this kind of um, what seems from my perspective to be a little bit of uh, not quite related culture warish mm -hmm. jab mixed in there with the gas stoves. Look, I love a gas stove as much as anybody. It takes my <laughs> electric stove forever to heat up. And my omelets haven't been the same since I moved into my new apartment. Oh, you, you went from gas to electric? I went from gas to electric. Oof, that's devastating. But it's, it's also true that, what, 12.7% 12, 12 of all childhood asthma cases are caused by uh, gas stoves and people should be informed what? about the health risks. Yeah, the, the, the health consequences of gas stoves are really? only just now being understood and reported on. So it's, it's a serious issue. Maybe you don't care. Maybe your kids are grown, but other people care. I'm not saying there should necessarily be a ban, but you know, pretending like there's not downsides to this or that it's just a random draconian edict coming down from on high is also a little absurd. So what, what do you make of this kind of political move from DeSantis to say, hey, I'm anti-Davos? I think it's a sign of the ascendancy of, of a kind of right and left populism, uh, you know, the fusion of that, uh, which is very anti a Davos mindset. Uh, you know, the World Economic Forum brings together all these heads of state, former heads of state, current heads of state, and corporate partners, pow powerful elites. Um, who all have a lot of similar ideas and similar goals on economics, on uh, a lot of climate stuff. Um, since COVID, there's been a lot of how can we use the COVID emergency to to you know to the the, the great reset is what it's called. How, how can society be better planned? from here on out. And I'm not, and unlike Ron DeSantis, I don't think every idea that would come out of this meeting would necessarily be bad, but I think the concerns are well-founded, which is that it's a little bit of, a, the technocratic elite has a lot of blind spots, mm -hmm. is not, and is not very down with democratic decision-making, mm -hmm. and also not very down necessarily with civil liberties, mm -hmm. um, because those can get in the way. They, I think they saw that with COVID, that yeah. people don't want to be required necessarily to take, uh, to take vaccines and other things, don't want to be required to wear masks, forever. It might have a contrasting views that, that is frustrating to the elites and, and, and confounds their ability to kind of like plan and organize society in, in the fashion that they want. And that's also part of the, the China aspect mm -hmm. of this, which is, you know, the whole kind of global, and I, th I think trade is good, but one of the issues with, you know, trading with China and being more open with China is we've kind of inadvertently um, brought in some of the Chinese government's close-mindedness toward, uh, toward criticism and free speech mm -hmm. is actually being imported into uh, not just, not exactly Western culture, but Western decision-making with our governments and our businesses. You know, people self-censor, institutions self-censoring in order to not get priced yeah. out of the Chinese market, this is that I think point. is very bad. This is what the point that Batya sometimes makes about Elon Musk in China and sure. failure to critique because sure. of his factories. And or the, the NBA, or the uh, NBA, yeah. Activision Blizzard, yeah. or, you know, any number of uh, U.S. celebrities or political figures or, or institutions, but, bit, private, bit, which 
it's a weird situation because they have the right to do, they have the free speech right to, you know, not want any criticism of China, but they're doing it because an authoritarian government that we have no control over wants that. Yeah, and money talks. You know, yeah. LeBron James gets a talking to from the NBA when he makes some anti-China uh, comments, and people care about their contracts and how much they're able to earn. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, precisely why this particular aggregation of human beings at Davos is concerning, because when you look at what aligns them, what what mm -hmm. interests that they all share, it's it's very elite financial interest, and it's not the interest of the overwhelming majority of people who live on this planet. And it speaks to a concern that I think a lot of our viewers have, a lot of you know, independent-minded people, right and left, which is that actually the elites have so much in common. You know, they say they're Republican, they say they're Democrat, but there's so much agreement, there's so much social cooperation, right. or so enjoyment of each other's company. Precisely. You're not in that meeting. You're not, you know, in those smoke-filled, well, those, they're not smoke-filled, <laughs> I don't think. At Davos, they're, they're definitely not smoke-filled. They allow proper ovens, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> there's no smoking in, uh, in those rooms. So it's, uh, it, it's uh, and it's, it's shielded from view. And I, I think it, it presents certain concerns. Obviously, you, you can go too far and be a little conspiratorial about how sure. bad it is or something. Um, you know, I think some of their economic ideas are probably good, but should be but should be embraced or allowed or be voted on. And it's still up to individual countries. Like the, you know, the U.S. We're, own, we're our own country. We have our own. We have a respect for civil liberties. You know, on uh, not just respect, but legally required under our constitution. So you can't just say, oh, we all went off to Davos and decided this is a good policy. Now it's going to be imposed on the people of the U.S. or of Canada or of Mexico or of any country. No, we get to decide. Right. But that's, I think the concern people have is that this stuff gets snuck in through the back door. I mean, we just had this 4,000 pages of legislation that was rushed through right before Christmas. No one read it. But nobody read. And this was one of the asks from the 20 Freedom Caucus people who were just holding up um, the speakership vote last week. And, and the, one of the asks that they secured, which is that they have to have single issue bills, um, or at least there has to be a single issue title on the bill. There's a little bit of Warbliness right. about what the what they were actually given. Imagine if it was debated, actual provision, right. instead of at the last minute snuck into a document that is far too long for anyone to read it, and then you have to vote it on immediately, and you have to vote yes because the whole country's economy will collapse if we just all of a sudden didn't have a right. budget. So nobody can vote against it. I mean, right. still they do. If, if it was going to actually, if the vote against it was actually going to succeed, no one could vote for it. Exactly. But exactly. It, but it's but it's it's not it's so unserious. Yeah. Because some of the stuff in that bill should not. Should not be voted most, for. Should be certainly. should be rejected. Most Tons certainly. of it should be rejected. But you don't get to do that because they cram it all in. They put it up there at once. It's it's and so they don't bad. give you time to read it. So another, I think one of the asks that they secured was I think a 72 hour period before a bill was passed where people mm. have an opportunity. I mean, it's still a very short time to read all of those pages with any kind of precision or depth. But I think they're making moving in the right direction. And there's some important populist asks that came through yeah. that are getting really. Uh, Underanalyzed and underappreciated by the liberal media. Well, and previously, the vast majority of congressional representatives in both parties had no say or input in what was going into that package. Right. It's it's the speaker and uh, and a handful of other powerful people in both parties right. get together and decide. And then you have to vote for it. Yeah, that 4,000-page document we're talking about was a Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi special, you know, that is a bipartisan, secretive, non-transparent -tra special. So it's interesting that there are these parallels between the problem with Congress and the problem with Davos mm -hmm. being the lack of transparency and democracy. Yeah, this is why we always have to hold the elite's feet to the fire. Yeah. More rising right after this. Stay with us.